All right, so I've had to record this quite a few times because trying to approach this video is very difficult for me because I know a lot of people are extremely passionate about Minecraft and I feel like you have another group of people that just want you to agree with their opinion. Here's an example, right? Xbox is the best console ever. And if you don't agree with that, you're wrong, right? Clearly, that's not true. <laughs> I just spouted that out because I knew it would get people heated. So that's a prime example of an opinion, right? It's not a fact, it's how you feel about something. And a lot of people on the internet will always treat their opinion as fact. And as a content creator, a lot of my videos are gonna be based around my opinion, my perspective, right? Because I'm only one person, so I can only go based off of my experiences and my opinions. And you know, especially as my channel grows, we're always gonna get people that no matter what you say, they're gonna just, you know, disagree with you, which is okay, you know, this is a part of life, but to shame someone else based on their opinion is just something that I have never really understood and I don't really appreciate. And um, now that I sort of just said that, I feel a little bit better. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and jump straight into what this video is about, ultimately which is the disconnect between Minecraft and its users. The disconnect between the game developers that are working on Minecraft and the people that play Minecraft. So if you don't know really what I'm talking about, well, you're in luck because we're gonna be talking about it for the rest of this video. So basically what's going on right now is that Minecraft considers console edition players who play survival cheaters. That's basically what it comes down to is that they think that we are cheaters, that we've been cheaters this whole time, and uh, right now I'm sort of offended. If you are slightly offended or heated right now, that's good. That's a good feeling because that's basically how they consider us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read what they basically posted on their website earlier. So you asked for coordinates to be added to the Bedrock engine to help you find your way. We think folks who want to use them should be able to, but also want the vanilla survival experience to have the added challenge of needing to rely on other things for navigation. So we've made it so that you can enable visible coordinates via a cheat. Using this in survival is possible, but it will disable achievements. We think this is a good compromise because it makes the feature <laughs> available, but doesn't make survival too easy. Some of you prefer to use classic crafting and want to be able to hide the recipe book. So we've made this possible. So I'm sorry guys if I was cracking up because this is a joke. This is this is seriously a joke right now. Like, okay, I just wanna reread this part right here. <laughs> so we've made it so that you can enable visible coordinates via a cheat. Using this in survival is possible, but it will disable achievements. So, if you're playing survival and you want coordinates, you can have the coordinates, but it's a cheat. So, all, you know, the four or five plus years we've been playing survival on console, we've been cheating, we're cheaters. And that's basically what they just said we are. They, <laughs> they just called us out and said we're cheating. So... This isn't a compromise. I don't know wh why they would even say that word. This is not compromising. This is changing the game to fit their recipe, to fit their standard. And I don't know the people that are working on this game nowadays. I feel like they probably hired a bunch of new developers to work on the better together. But clearly, they're not from the Minecraft community. I don't know how long these people have been playing Minecraft. I don't know if they've just been hiring a, a bunch of new people to work on this new version of Minecraft or if they have Mojang helping along as well as some people from 4J. I have no idea. But clearly, there's a huge disconnect here because that's not something a developer from 4J would ever say. And the fact that they actually said this is just mind blowing. And I honestly, I'm sort of speechless right now. It's to the point where I'm not gonna play survival on the better together. I, I refuse to until they get rid of that because coordinates should just be a default. It is a part of the game. And the fact that they think it's not a part of the game just baffles me. So coordinates will always be an essential part of the game. It's part of discovery. It's part of coordinating with friends. It's part of just being able to adventure and the fact that they are 
uh, unwilling <laughs> to see this is just it, like I said, I'm speechless right now. But you guys have to understand, like I play a lot of survival. I play let's plays and ultra hardcore and UHC, just everything. A lot of things that I do on Minecraft involves survival. So what I'm going to be doing is until they decide to change this, which they might, but until they decide to change this, I will be playing survival purely on console edition of Minecraft because that is the better version right now. Um, so I will be playing survival on console edition and uh, I'll be doing like servers and everything else on the better together. But let me know down below in the comment section. How do you guys feel about this? How do you feel about being called a cheater? Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you later. Take care. Peace.